Good old Gary Lineker, eh? If you're not a fan of the BBC, he is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. And yeah, we're not great fans of Gary Lineker on this channel, are we? I mean, I, uh, the man personally, I don't know him, so I couldn't say anything about that. But my problem with it is, he's the highest paid, official highest paid earner of the BBC. 1.3 million quid a year. 1.3 million quid a year. Talking about football with his mates a couple of times a week. And he can pretty much do whatever he wants, can't he? He can work for other channels, he can do adverts, he gets special privileges that no other BBC employee seems to be able to get. God knows how he managed to negotiate it, but it's Twitter that's kicking off, because he had a big argument with a BBC colleague a couple of weeks ago, didn't he? Because he was airing his views on there, and his BBC colleague, I believe, was a journalist, said, are you allowed to do this? Because I'm not allowed to do this. And Gary Lineker basically said, I'm do what I want. And the BBC backed him up. And that leads us to this headline. I'll keep talking politics despite BBC slapdowns, vows Gary Lineker. Yeah, I don't know how he's managed it, but he does seem to be able to do and say anything he wants at the BBC. And there's nothing, nothing at all they can do about it. Look at this line here. It tells you everything you need to know. Referring to the Beeb's Director General, Tim Davey, Lineker said, I don't think he'll stop me talking about politics, though he claimed he is careful. Last month, Davey called the former England captain's tweets a work in progress. And Lineker joked, Davey is a work in progress too. <laughs> so you could, I'll do what I want, I will say what I want, and if the boss, the big boss at the top, says anything, even though he said it in quite a pleasant and, you know, public-related way, I'm going to slag him off as well. <laughs> Lineker can do what? How? Do he own shares in the BBC or something? I have no idea how he gets away with it. Why don't they just let him go? They pay him 1.3 million quid a year. 1.3 million. You can't tell me you couldn't get another football pundit that's just as good as him that would happily do it for one, two, three hundred thousand 300,000 a year just because they want to be back on the telly and be relevant again. You can't tell me that's not possible. Alan Shearer works with Lineker on Match of the Day. I'm not a fan. I don't like football and I certainly wouldn't watch Match of the Day. But only from what I read on here, I gather that. And I think he gets paid, what was it, 400000 That's still a lot less than Lineker. Just give him the main job. What's the problem? Ian Wright. Someone, there must be a million football pundits out there who would happily present Match of the Day, right, and do it for a damn sight less than Lineker. How? How does he get away with it? I've got no idea. This month, Lineker was found to have broken impartiality guidelines with one of his tweets, and in August, he was criticised for them by a journalist. Lineker also owns a podcasting company that makes The Rest is Politics, presented by Alistair Campbell and ex-MP Rory Stewart. Lineker told the New Statesman the BBC would be too scared to make the show, which is critical of the government. Well, there you go. That's probably partly the reason he's stirring it up with his political views on Twitter, because he's getting in more listens to his podcasts. The podcasts seem to be taken off. I don't know. I was slagging podcasts off before, but turns out they're actually quite popular. Who knew? I might have to convert myself. But... Yeah, that's partly what all this is about, isn't it? It's free PR for his for his podcasts. But, you know, do the BBC guidelines not apply to Lineker? This is the thing. Everything, I mean, there was Nick Knowles, wasn't it, who was in trouble for doing the Shreddies advert dressed as a builder because the BBC said you're not allowed to use your image gained through the BBC to do commercial advertising. So he couldn't be a builder in the ads. But I swear I saw a Walker's ad where there was, it was football related. Is that not the same thing? You've got Hugh Edwards doing after dinner speeches about news and current events. Is that not the image that he gained whilst using the BBC? It seems to be one rule for one at the BBC and one rule for the other. And the man at the real top of the tree ain't Tim Davey, is it? It's Lineker. Bad. So what do you think about this then? Because I don't understand it. I don't understand it. If you know more about this than me and how Lineker manages to get away with everything he gets away with at the BBC, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon. Ta-da.